come to St. John's, you it's a personal choice you have to make because it's so welcoming here. We went from an area where we had people surrounding us who definitely weren't Christian. They weren't evil people, but they're of a different lifestyle, you know. And to, to come into these people who are solid people, witty, intelligent people, and it's made us feel like we belong here 20 years. And we've been here 20 months of our life. Well, we just didn't find a church. We found God here. We really did. I mean, we weren't religious. We weren't uh, reading the Bible. We weren't with God. We, weren't, we didn't have a walk with Christ. And the pastors here taught us to read the Bible and experience it for yourself. And boy, I have to tell you, my husband was the first to catch on fire with the Lord. And um, it's just been amazing, life-changing for us. Now we wake up as Christians and reading the Bible, we wake up and just see how blessed we are with everything and how we're different parents. I mean, we, of course we love our children, but we love them in a different way now. We, we embrace them. I cherish every moment. So I know, I know I'm a better parent and try to be a, a, a better wife and, and um, a better servant to God. I've never felt intimidated even amongst the senior members of the congregation. I'm clearly not as knowledgeable as some of the uh, more intellectual and scripturally based uh, gentlemen and women here. I am in the church choir. Never thought in a million years that I would ever say, oh, I'm in the church choir. Now I find the more I'm involved in St. John's, the more joy I am, the more joy is in my life. And it's not anything that's given to me. It's just the relationships you have. They're amazing. They really show us the joy of God, to the joy of, of having a community. And, and I've never even understood what that meant until now, and it's really hard to explain to other people that are Christians. Just the transformation that can occur in my life from a life that was not a bad life, by most standards was probably a pretty good life, but to life with the, you know, the standard confusions, all the fears, all the hesitations, to a life of knowing that uh, you know, God's with you and he's with you to the end. And it, you know, he's not gonna give you more than you can handle, so that gives you peace. If I got a problem in front of me, I know God's with me, and I know I wouldn't handle that problem if God didn't think I could handle it. So it gives you the peace. The peace gives you the, the freedom to truly enjoy life. You don't, you don't spend your life worrying and wringing your hands. You can truly enjoy life. And that is a gift that I can't fathom that I have right now. There are times when I actually will ask Carla, I'll say, Carla, what have I done to deserve this? And the reality, I know what I've done is I've had faith in Jesus, and with that faith comes the grace of God.